and, and what he gives you the ability to believe that it's true because naturally we're unbelievers, you know, that this seems like a fairy tale uh, naturally. You know, when you hear about stuff, you know, thousands of years ago and, and, and you know, if, if it's not revealed to you, like Brother Steve's saying, it don't seem like this is the real thing, but God can reveal that. He gives you the faith to believe that. One day you realize, you know, I think what they're saying has uh, uh, legitimacy, it has power. I think there's some validity to this. It must be true because I see their life is different. You know, look at the creation. I mean, you, you got to trust in this creator that, that he has your best interest in, in mind. And, and uh, it's by faith. It's a revelation and, and you can't figure it all out out of a book like Brother Steve said. And But you know deep down in your heart that it's a truth. There's something that happens when you hear people talk about Christ and there's a living reality. The joy, that's a measure right there. If you've got joy in your life after coming to the Lord, that speaks to people on the job and, and in your neighborhood. And, and uh, But thank God the Lord puts on our heart a need. That's what we got to have is realizing that we need this Jesus. And if you don't feel like you need him, you're not going to listen or, or come to him. But if, you're, if your life is in a, in a state to where you don't have that peace in your heart, you, you want this. And God can work. He can work in that environment. And, and thank God for the need. And I think we just all, we all need him. I need him now more than I ever have. And, and uh, so I want to attune my heart to him and hear what he's saying. And, but, uh, but I tell you, though, thank God we, we have a need and, and Jesus is the only one who can satisfy that. And, and he's here today. Thank God. He's satisfying my needs today. And whether it's salvation or healing, there's a lot of things we're praying for. And you know, I tell you, it touches my heart. I read, I had the thought coming in here. I, I agree. We're blessed to even be here, Brother Steve. And what a privilege, you know. We need to treasure this because you don't know what tomorrow holds. I mean, there are people in this world that, that uh, are visually blind. They can't see. I'm not talking even spiritually, but they can't even read a book like you and I can. We need to treasure God's blessing. He's a good creator. And, and, and uh, you realize where all this re results from, you want to give your life to him. You want to live for him. But, but uh, I tell you, I, I read stories. You know, I work in human resources, and you read about people in other countries that, that you know, they're, they're in Bangladesh working at the clothing manufacturers. These people, they make about $50 a month. Uh, manufacturing clothing and they have big issues uh, labor you know wars and stuff so they can make $75 a month and that touches my heart we got so much to be thankful for but God provides you know I don't want to get off topic he provides it but I want to be thankful for, for what he's doing and and uh, we just need to seek him first and all these things will be added and and uh, I'm just so thankful that he causes a need and he causes us to have the faith to believe that he is the answer and he can do that for us and I'm just thankful to be here. It's a privilege. we got so much to be thankful for in Christ, and he's our Savior. I'm so glad. Amen. Turn with me to uh, Romans chapter 12. I had this scripture on my heart this morning, and then the brothers got up here and started speaking. I, I felt like it flowed. I'm going to give it out. Starting in verse 1. Says this it says, therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy. We've just heard Brother Steve just talked about what God's mercy is. Is God's mercy is He the fact that He's revealing Himself to you. And you're seeing if the Lord's revealing your him, Himself to you, and you're able to see who you are and how great He is, it's because of His mercy. So, therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of this mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. My thought was, okay, Steve, you know, Steve's up here talking about the fact that when he reveals himself to you, I know he's doing that in a deeper way. He's doing it in my life. He's revealing himself in a deeper way. Well, you know, what, what, what do I do? You know, that's, that's, that's my carnal self wants to know, well, what can I do? Well, the scripture's telling us right here that, there, you know, there's, nothing, there's one thing that we can do, and it's not really through us. It's because of his mercy that we can stretch forth our hands and offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. I was thinking about a sacrifice you know, in the Old Testament, when they used to, to sacrifice, okay, I, I was thinking about, you know, if they sacrificed a lamb, what, 
And what role did that lamb, that sacrifice play? It, 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 it died. It, it, number one, it didn't choose itself. It didn't, God chose it. God's choosing you. Number two, it didn't, it didn't play any part of the actual sacrificing. So, you know, we, we don't, we're not really playing a part here. And then lastly, it died. And I think that's what God wants us to do, is when he is revealing himself to us, he's trying to reveal himself to us so that we die. Our wills die. And we offer ourselves to God in whatever capacity. That's the only thing we can do. Everything else is through him. But the one thing that we have to do is we can offer ourselves to him. Holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. There, uh, I, I think it was Louis, Louis Giglio said that a definition of worship, his definition of worship was um, whatever it is the it is whatever comes out of you, your response. That's, that's the right word I was looking for. Your response to whatever you love the most. Your response to whatever you love the most. And I was sitting here thinking about this this morning, and I said, you know, Lord, Lord, what, what has my worship been throughout time, throughout looking back at my life? What have I worshipped? You know, what have I worshipped? But as God is shining the light on these things, to, at least to me, I... I, he is he, he is really showing me that what he he just wants me to to lift forth my hands because he's revealing himself do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his p- good pleasing and perfect will that's what we want we want to be in god's perfect will as a body as 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 a fan as a family of god as your individual family i hope you want to be in in god's perfect will that's where i want to be and the way that we get to be in god's perfect will is in verse one is offering ourselves as a living and holy sacrifice amen